I'm Todd Jones. You're watching Behind the Line, Easter Sunday in Petersburg, Alaska. We had been down for a number of days. We were living in a really horrible weather cycle and you literally want to go and just part the skies and make the snowpack stable and get all the stuff you need, but you can't. You know, the more i have been here, the more these tales you hear, and it all starts with Thomas Bay. The native village got wiped out by a mudslide, 500 dead. And uh, the miners come over there, try to go set up a mining camp, and they're getting spooked out by all the spirits. We call it the devil's country. I mean, these mountains are named with that respect. You've got names like the witch's cauldron and the devil's thumb. It's a crazy place. The glacier flows downhill the wrong way. Uh, we've had a nice warm welcome here, but there's also a lot of people who are like, I hope you guys are being careful because that place over there has a track record of taking people down. What's going on? Sunday, looking good. Decreasing clouds, highs around 42, light winds. This yeah, is good. Sunshine, well, I guarantee a Sunday's going to be clear. Just well, guarantee it clear. Yeah, because it's Easter Sunday, and there's no way for us to go out and oh, have close calls unless there's Dude. sun on Easter Sunday. Sarge, stalkers. <laughs> we sort of had been in the string of down days, and all of a sudden it's Bluebird, and sure enough, it's Easter. Something always happens on Easter. Been in avalanches, and other people have gotten hurt, or this, that, and the other. And this Easter held up to be just another one of those. I saw Morrison that morning and he's rolling his eyes and he said something like, out of all days that could have been blue, why is it today? Unfortunately, right off the bat, Morrison tried a Lincoln loop off a big cornice, tweaked his knee. Sage was doing some onslaughts, tweaked himself. So now we had Seth with a sore knee and Sage who was out for the day. We slowed things down and we moved over and we got over towards this area, monospine, that we wanted to hit. All right, I want you to run. Straight below me and fast. Watch Morrison drop in a monospine. He dropped it super fast right out of the gate. Classic Morrison, you know, not afraid to pin it. Well, I wanted to ski down this line pretty quick, but I hit those ribs and those things just chucked me and I was just floating in the back seat and I just knew it was over and just ended up tomahawking like the bottom thousand bird of the run. Watching uh, Seth tomahawk down monospine was one of the scarier things I've seen. And then about five minutes later, Dana dropped in and had a similar result. snow bridge broke and he fell in and ended up falling onto a ledge with a blown out knee and one ski on and the other one in his hand. And somehow he climbed out of there. I don't know, he definitely got the toughest bastard award for that one. The, the top of it was up here though, so I was like, I'm gonna start hacking the land. <laughs> and then I kind of forgot I had a fucking blown knee, dude. I was just like, oh, I gotta get out of this thing. Devil's thumb, devil's cauldron, it all had its, its uh, way with us in a sense. I mean, we're all still here, but a few rounds with the devil. 